Welcome back to the Culture Talk. Today we're going to talk about how wise choices are very important. In Proverbs chapter 2 verse 11 it says, Wise choices will watch over you. Okay, we're going to talk broadly about this in some versions of the Bible. It says discretion instead of wise choices. But discretion or making wise choices, wise decisions will watch over you. What does that mean? That just means that when you make wise choices, then things are going to go good for you. Have you ever paid your light bill and you kept the lights on? Some people, they'll make weird choices and they'll not pay the light bill. They'll pay other things that are less important. Maybe they'll pay like for a movie tickets. I don't know how much those go for because I haven't gone to the movie in like four, five, six years. But they'll have fun first. And hopefully, they think that things are going to work out for them. It, that's not always the case. But that's their mindset. That is being unwise. Those wise choices will not wa- work out for you because someday you're going to have to pay up. You're going to have to make choices that are wise so that your choices will look out for you. Have you ever not paid your rent? You paid other things. You went on vacation. Then you're like, maybe I should have paid my rent, my mortgage first. That's how some people think. It's like fun goes first. And those are not wise decisions. I made unwise choices when I was younger, as we all did. We got into relationships because we were lonely. So... We think just because that we're lonely, we should find someone else. But sometimes those choices are foolish because those wise choices leave us with someone maybe we shouldn't be in relationships with. Those are unwise choices. But we should always make think about things before we do them. The effects... And that's why his choice is looking out for you. When we think about the effects of our choices, they will watch out for us. Things will go a lot better. So, there was a time when I decided to lie to my parents. Because I thought, okay, they're never going to find out. My dad is so smart that he always found out every time I lied. I didn't have to be a good liar. But he knew because he went through what I went through in previous years. So that was just me lying to him, which made him not trust me for a long time. Was that a wise choice to lie to him? No. You see in a bunch of TV shows... Something always goes wrong and then someone lies and later on their lies catch up with them. Whether that's you in a relationship, maybe you think you're going to get away with cheating. But you don't. But you just keep lying about it. Even to yourself. The only person that you're trying to fool is yourself. Because everyone else you're not fooling. So, make wise choices in life. Even on having kids, a lot of people want kids when they're not financially responsible. Then they need other people's help. Or they don't think about that they will be alone. And it's just going to be them and the baby or their spouse or their boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever. It's just going to be the three of them. Then they start asking their parents for money. They start asking their parents To babysit. Because they didn't think about the consequences. That's what we need to think about all the time. In all our choices. Kids, when you ditch school. You think about the consequences. 
you might get kicked out. You might have to repeat a grade. So it's going to keep you in school longer. The choices of friends we make. We should hang out with good people. They would say the five people you hang out with the most are the ones that you're going to be like. So make wise choices of who you want to hang out with. I know this is a shotgun blast on life. But I'm just saying we should watch out for our decisions, our choices. We should make better choices. So they, our choices, our wisdom will watch out for us. Don't just blame everyone else for your bad choices. If you make a bad choice, own up to it. But your good choices will watch out for you. That's what this scripture is saying. Don't just hook up with girls. Don't just hook up with guys, girls. But there's consequences. You might get STDs. You might get pregnant. Or the girl might get pregnant. Or you might get an STD. Whoever's watching this. But... There are consequences. Don't just think everything will go smooth like a teenager. Because teenagers are finding out that things don't go smooth. But we should always make better decisions by thinking things through maybe 10 times before we make that decision. So keep on making better choices. I hope you this video helps someone. Whether it's in a relationship, whether it's job searching. Some people, they get into relationships with people from long distances. It don't work out. They don't think about things through, about dating. That they might have to leave their comfort zone to go somewhere uncomfortable. Maybe where they don't know anybody. So... We got to all think about our consequences. Consequences of our choices. So it doesn't bite us in the butt. And we don't have to suffer from bad choices. Unwise choices. So I hope you all make wise choices. You think things through before you do them. You think things through. You think about the consequences of your actions or your decisions. So you don't get hurt or burnt by them. I try to do that all the time. Whatever I eat. Whatever I do. I try to. I'm not perfect. We all make mistakes somewhere. But we should always try to make better decisions in life. So if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, everybody. This is The Culture Shot. I'm The Frugal Cyborg. Everybody, keep on learning and keep on growing.